Right, I got some more candles and they obviously wrap. No, I didn't. No, I didn't buy this candle twice. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed I bought this candle twice. Okay, I bought the same candle twice. It's because I did this shop and then I put everything away because I was like, it's not autumn yet, I can't get it out. I mean, it smells great, but imagine all these candles are the same. No, they're not. Oh my gosh, is my memory okay? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. I am so excited for this video. So make sure you are cozy. You've got your blanket. Maybe you've put the fire on like me. Maybe you've grabbed, your, grabbed yourself a cup of hot chocolate or a nice glass of red wine or whatever tickles your pickle. Cause this is gonna be a long one. It's a bit of a rambly one and it is a huge autumnal haul. I'm gonna do my absolute best to get this video up for you guys as soon as I record it, just because I feel like autumn's quickly upon us. And I know if you're looking for like autumn homeware bits, you kind of just want them now. I am gonna do my absolute best to link everything that I mentioned in the description box below. The only thing I will say, a lot of these pieces I actually got from TK Maxx, Home Sense, and the range, um, which I cannot link. So I will try and link like dupes of the things on Amazon. I have also purchased quite a few bits off Amazon lately. So everything will be down there. Make sure you follow my Amazon storefront because I tend to have little surges when I update that and me and Amazon were like best friends. So yeah, I hope you're all doing good. I'm so excited for this one. I hope you're all cozy and I'm ready for autumn. I am a seasonal person, so I get excited about the next season. You guys know I'm not the best in the winter. The weather and me, we're not the best, but I'm so excited for autumn and of course, Christmas, dare I say it. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love it so much if you could hit subscribe and also if you could check me out on my other socials, my Instagram and my TikTok. I am gonna be doing loads of like home content on my homepage. I'll put some pictures here of my home account on Instagram. So a lot of these things you will see styled up over on my home account. So let's start with the purchase that I have here. This is the current pot that I have sitting on my dining table. I'll insert overlays of all of these things. This is a new purchase of mine from Zara. So I'm gonna link this pot below. This is huge. So if you need a really large pot to fill a space Base, a nice vase definitely try this out I currently have some stems in here which are from Amazon I have these like eucalyptus that I do actually think look quite good and then I have these kind of more like is this baby's breath if I'm honest it does look quite plasticky up close I mean look at me I'm literally here amongst the foliage uh, but this is not staying obviously I'm changing this out for my autumnal table display so this is not actually staying this is literally gonna be here for like two more days and then it's coming out but this is a new purchase of mine the one behind I got a little a while ago and I kind of hate to say it actually in a way I prefer this this is like a textured pot again this is Zara home yeah again this is Zara home the foliage that I have in this is kind of like a new display I feel like I need to kind of work on this a little bit but for now it looks all right I need to take some of this out because it's a bit too high in comparison to the other branches but for now I'm gonna roll with it my grandma if she's watching she was a florist so she probably is like well she wasn't a florist she did like flower arranging and things like that is screaming at me right now like this is all wrong so it does need a research, don't judge me. However, love the pot and I love these kind of autumnal colors that are now coming in. They're so much more rich. A lot of these I got from the range, but a couple are from Amazon. So I will leave all of those bits linked below. This is not staying here, but I just thought we made a very cute backdrop. That pumpkin up here, let's talk about the background before we get into everything. This little pumpkin is a new one. This is from Primark. I don't want to take the tag off because I wanted to let you guys know the price. This was seven pounds, super cute. I currently have this in the background of my videos, but you could obviously use it as a prop, kind of like on a shelf. You could do it as like a little um, door stop, which is how I was kind of using it as well. Then onto some of my pumpkins. So I did a big order on Amazon I recommend doing this now because I came across a problem last year I tried to order pumpkins and it was a bit too late and they were actually sold out so I have three little white ones here they're all in different sizes they're very cute they come in like a bundle mix so you get like small this kind of slightly large one and then this bigger one here they look really good they are plasticky but if you want to do a design in the house or maybe you want to do a design outside which is kind of what I've got all my ideas for I want to make the outside of my house look really cute this year I have a lot of kids that live on this street and I just really want them to be like, oh my God, I love this house. It looks so cute for Halloween. So I did do another order on Amazon last night. However, this is what you get. So you get seven pumpkins. These are the white ones. They're really cute. They have like a nice stem as well, which is like a bit weathered and you can dot those around the house. And then I did the exact same order with the orange set. Now this is quite bright orange. I might use some of these in my table display, but I also think I'm gonna use a lot of these for outside mostly. But I do think they look very, very cute. So definitely make sure you order those 
early on on Amazon because they tend to fly. Right, let's start out with some of the stuff I've been buying. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I haven't bought a lot in Matalan. I picked up this cushion. I thought it was really, really cute. They do a gnome version of this as well, which is autumn themed. I love this. You can flip it over and have this design on the back. I don't like too many, like, Halloween things. I prefer more of like the fall things. And I feel like the UK is a lot behind the US when it comes to like autumnal themed things. We have a lot of like Halloween things, but not cute stuff. This is very cute from Matalan. I really like this. It has like a 3D design going on. I think this is super nice. And again, you can flip it around. Like for, at the moment, I'll probably have more of it like this way because it's not Halloween, Halloween too much. I then picked up from there these uh, candlesticks. I really like the color of these. My H&M candlestick holders, the current candles in there are not the right color and H&M candles at the moment are just not giving. So I went for these. They're kind of like an off brownie color. Really nice. I'm so excited to do my dining room tablescape coming soon to Instagram you guys will see and these are going to be great for it okay I'm going to just dive straight on into this bag I can't lie a lot of this stuff is from all kinds of shops because I've just chucked it all in one bag so please bear with me I'm gonna dive into my crockery that I found so I found this plate in TK Maxx this was $9.99 it says hello pumpkin this is getting me so excited because I've had this stuff for like a few weeks and it's just sat in the bag and I've been so desperate to get it all out and Leon's like it's too early and I'm like it's too early but now I'm filming this video you best believe this stuff is here to stay. So it's really cute. Just says hello pumpkin. I loved it. I thought it was really nice. It's something that you can get out at the start of like September and then use throughout the whole of September, the whole of October. And then if you're someone that doesn't do your Halloween decorations, you can take it into November because it's not like Halloween-y. So I loved this. I think this is really nice if you've got any dinner parties. I then got some bowls and I thought I got four of these bowls. But now thinking about it, I feel like they only had two in stock. So I only got two in the hopes that I would find another two. Um, I really did think I got four of these, but these are so cute for your cereal. So they just say again, Hello Pumpkin. It's the same range. They have this really, really slight orange detailing around the top. These were $4.99 each. They're by a brand. I want to get you guys the brand name. So if you want to look it up, this just says Hello Home. They're really, really cute bowls. They're nice and deep. Great for cereal, soup, all of those kind of things. Uh, porridge in the morning and I like a seasonal piece of crockery. Okay, I then came across the matching jug. So I picked this up too. Guys, do I have a problem? Yes, I obviously do. This was $12.99, so this is a little bit more expensive. The only thing I did think about this is if you didn't want to do it as like um, a jug, you could do it as a vase in the house. So I picked these up from, these are the ones I got in the range, I want to say. Um, and I obviously need to play around with them, but you could always turn this into a little vase and do some foliage coming out of this. I thought this was really, really sweet. So I feel like it's multi-use. That's what I've convinced myself it is. Totally worth the money. Then I grabbed this table runner. So my table is actually really big. It's from a brand called Arigi really Bianchi. I feel like I always say that name wrong. They are an incredible furniture shop. I'm like obsessed with all their stuff. And my table is probably one of my favorite, most favorite things in this house. My table and my bed, I just adore. My bed's from Feather and Black, um, for anyone who's wondering. But yeah, love this table so much. It's a gorgeous reclaimed wood. I don't want to cover it in a tablecloth because I feel like it's such a stunning table that I want everyone to see how lovely the wood is, which could end up being a disaster and it could get terribly stained, but I think it's a beautiful table. So for my autumnal tablescape, I knew I wanted a runner, but I didn't want something that was too busy. And I really fell in love with this. I grabbed this in HomeSense. It's quite a nice length. I have quite a large table. Don't ask me why, because I've got quite a small house, but I've got a huge bloody table. And I thought this was really nice. It's from Nicole Miller Home. Those are the measurements there. This retailed for $12.99. And I just thought it was a really nice one. It has like ever so slight woven details of like a taupe and a brown and a beige. So it's bringing in that warmth, but it's not too much. And I thought it was nice and subtle. So absolutely fell in love with this. Cannot wait to get started on transforming that room. Now, following on from that, I purchased this and I know you're all going to be like, what the heck is that? That's plastic. That's terrible. You have to see the vision. So I know I want to do something in the center of my table this year with pumpkins. I probably will cut these flowers off. I can't lie. And you can obviously put candles on top of here. I just want to incorporate this somehow. I have a vision for it. I think it's going to work. I don't know if any of you guys have followed me since last autumn, but I did make my own autumn wreath last year. And I posted this little video on my home account. It's one of my favorite videos because it just goes to show you can DIY things. I literally used a glue gun, got some bits on Amazon and like a more basic wreath and jazzed it up quite a lot, which I'm going to continue to do this year because I want to add even more to that wreath. I'll actually show you that wreath in a minute. However, I kind of want to do a similar thing with the table. So yeah, I just really like this. I like the color of the pumpkins. 
greens. I like that the green wasn't too green. It's a bit more like a moss green. If I don't use this on the table, I will find somewhere to use it, either on like the sideboard or it's gonna go somewhere. So I grabbed this. This was, how much was this from? I don't actually remember how much this is because I got this a while ago, but this was from the range. While I was in the range, I grabbed all of this foliage and quite a bit of the foliage that's in that vase to add it to the table. So I love to do these kind of big elaborate tables because if you have friends over for drinks or dinner, it's just a really nice feature. And I think also just like, it's just a fun thing to do. I really enjoy it. So I picked these up again from the range. These are gonna be super useful if you do wanna design your own wreath because they already have the miniature pumpkin on there and just some other little bits to kind of jazz it up. So I grabbed, I think I got three of those. I tend to buy things in threes. And then I grabbed some of this to go again in a vase, even if it goes in that little vase that I showed you from the start. Oh my God, cute. Okay. This is better than what I put in here before. It's kind of again like that fake pampas design. I got this again from the range and I got these ones as well and they're slightly different. They're bigger and kind of more feathered. This is more, maybe slightly more plasticky, but I still think it's very cute. The last bit of foliage that I bought this year is this. This is from Amazon. I think this is like real wheat. It looks cute, doesn't it? I don't know, I thought it would be cute again in a vase somewhere. Um, look, I don't recommend putting all this stuff all in one place. But I think if you spread it out amongst the house. Oh goodness, this is very farmyard. Okay, anyway, this is what it's currently looking like. Oh no, it smells really bad. I hope there's no like bugs living in this. Oh my God, something just flew out. Swear to God, there's literally things flying out. I can see little things. I don't think this was a good idea. This one I got from Amazon. It's like a natural barn farmyard thing. That might be going in the display outside the house. Okay, and then let's do candles because I've gone a bit wild on the candle front. I saw someone's video the other day and they were like, I don't know about you, but I buy all these autumnal candles and then I never burn them. And the following year, they're still there. I burn my candles like that. Like I get a candle, she's being burned. I mean, I've got not a single summer candle left in this house because I burnt them all. So yeah, I kind of end up buying these because I do burn all of these candles. So these I got from HomeSense. You have to go to HomeSense if you want good candles. I got this Peak and Bourbon one. This was $7.99. Oh my God, it smells like autumn. It smells so nice. And I love the little like design. Okay, this one I had last year and I adored it. I actually would go and get a bigger one of this if I could find it. This was $7.99. This is pumpkin spice. They describe this as a harvest pumpkin with cinnamon and clove over vanilla and brown sugar. This for me is the nicest smelling autumnal candle that I've found. It's so nice because it is sweet, but it has that like cinnamon scent to it and it has like a little bit of a muskier smell. I don't know. I am so in love with this. This is my favorite candle. And again, I love the little decor on that one. And then this, I just thought was so nice for the kitchen, even just as like a bit of design. This is called the apple cider candle from Sand and Fog. So when you're in Home Sense, my recommendations for brands are DW Home. Their candles burn great. They smell amazing. They're some of my favorite. And Sand and Fog, I've been a fan of for a really long time. And this is obviously like a reusable pot. So once you've burnt the candle, you can just decant the wax and then you can use it to store like wooden spoons or like things for the kitchen or something. This smells so nice. Um, and I love that it's a proper ceramic candle. So this was a little bit more expensive. This was $16.99, but I do think that's because of what it comes in. I also picked this one up. This is called Spiced Pumpkin. Again, a DW home candle. I think I got this one from TK Maxx. I have already started to burn this. Okay, then I just grabbed some little candle holder things for my table. So obviously the candles don't melt and burn my table and I just grabbed some of these like plain white oh my god <laughs> candles from the range I got these from the range these are more for like my table rather than for the scent because they don't smell okay I also saw these and thought these were the cutest thing ever these are £2.49 they're from the range and they are so cute so they are these little wooden blocks that then have a tea light on the inside so you have a tea light in that one and a tea light in that one and same with these I just thought this was really gorgeous just to light around the house I, I mean the only thing I'm concerned about is like is this as a is this a hazard because you're lighting a candle that's in a piece of wood so so my only concern is like light these when you're going to be around them because you want to watch this. If this starts to burn, this wood, that is actually really dangerous. The more I dwell on that, the more dangerous that seems. Uh, next up, I got this super cute little garland that I'm going to put across the bay window in our living room. It just has loads of little pumpkins on. I think it's like the cutest 
thing ever. I can't seem to untangle it right now, but it has like all these different kind of pumpkins. I just thought it was sweet. I know I'll find somewhere to put this in the house um, as a little piece of decor or over the mirror even in the downstairs. She's gonna go somewhere. I then also picked up this um, pumpkin salt and pepper little duo. I love anything like this. I always think it's really sweet. This I remember I got in TK Maxx and it was $3.99. I know it's quite a seasonal thing, but I absolutely loved it and I thought it was sweet. And then I also got these kind of napkin holder rings. I, I don't have any for my table and I thought these were nice to have all year round. Don't get me wrong, I think they're particularly nice for autumn because they are that kind of more rustic vibe. But I'll just have these all year round for the table and I just thought they were kind of cute. I think I got these on Amazon. Yes, I did. So I will link these ones below if you're interested. Okay, then also at Home Sense, I actually got this photo album. I just thought I want to start putting my photos away. Um, I've been thinking about this for a long time and then when I saw how beautiful this photo album was, I was like, right, there's no time like the present. I really like this because I think you can have this out on display I mean, this is what the spine looks like. It says love is the answer, which I think is really nice. And then it encourages people to look through your photos and they're already out on display. And I just, when something's like nicely displayed like this, I'll always have it out. So I thought this was really beautiful. I need to get into a habit of printing my photos. This retailed for $16.99 and it's huge and it has like all different sections for you to pop your pictures in. So I loved this. Okay, and then I have a couple of bits that I picked up from. I think this was, I don't know if this was the right, I'm not sure where. This was TK Maxx too. Right, I love of this stuff is not seasonal it's just gift bags to have in the house for people's birthdays events when people get married i just always stock up when i see nice gift bags and gift boxes and cards buy them because then you've always got them in the house this was another photo album that i bought so this one is life is a collection of moments don't know the price on this i think it was similar it's a lot smaller than that other one but it's this really gorgeous like linen and then this is like 3d and i absolutely loved it again i'm gonna put loads of photos in here and i thought it was just nice to have two photo albums that i love the aesthetic of for the house i also picked up a little bit of jewelry in there i'm just gonna show you this quickly because a friend of mine Beth she was like I get all my jewelry or a lot of her jewelry from TK Maxx and I was like I've never tried TK Maxx jewelry so you really have to like it's so gorgeous and lovely and she's right so I got this little ring this was $12.99 and it's got the obviously the little eye on it that protects you from evil so I picked that up I thought it was really lovely and then I also grabbed a pair of earrings um they're just these gold uh gold little heart earrings that I thought were gorgeous I don't know how you guys can see and they kind of go under the ear and they were 15 quid right I got some more candles and they obviously wrap no i didn't no i didn't buy this candle twice oh my god i'm embarrassed i bought this candle twice okay i've bought the same candle twice it's because i did this shop and then i put everything away because i was like it's not autumn yet i can't get it out i mean it smells great but imagine all these candles are the same no they're not oh my gosh is my memory okay just literally move swiftly on from that okay i got some napkins you're probably like what the heck well napkins are handy anyway but i follow these two girls on tiktok called olivia and london they're amazing their style is gorgeous they're a beautiful couple i am obsessed with their tiktok and one of the girls made like a champagne personalized champagne bottle to give to a friend she like painted it and then like stuck all these like little cards from a napkin on if you've seen the tiktok you'll know what i'm talking about otherwise i sound a little bit crazy and i just saw these napkins and i thought these could be really cute to do the same idea to do like an autumnal themed one even if i just use these as napkins in the house or i thought to do like a birthday or a celebration themed bottle of champagne so i bought these for that and i'm gonna get working on that so it's ready to go for when the moment's right i then picked up this potpourri um i loved the packaging on this and i just thought it was a really nice thing to have displayed also smells great and i feel like i can pop it in like different little things around the house so yeah i'm not normally like a potpourri person but I did think this was really sweet. Then I got these kitchen tea towels. I had to get a themed tea towel. I have like a tea towel at the moment. I have the tackiest, cheesiest tea towels, but I thought these were sweet, so. And then last up, I got this box. This just says Farmer's Market Fresh Produce. I've always looked at these and really liked them for my kitchen, but never bought one. And I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna get one now. Even if I put like pumpkins in it and do it as like a, I don't know, or like prop them up and do like pumpkins or something. I just thought it would be really Really sweet or i'll put like our bread in here and things like that things that i reach for all the time like bagels and stuff so yeah i thought this was nice they had loads of these in tk maxx if you're looking for one okay so that's 
everything I've bought this year, guys. However, I did just want to show you some of the... Well, I'm not going to show you all the bits that I got last year because you can't get them, so it seems annoying. But I did want to share with you my wreath. So this was my autumnal wreath that I made last year. She's been in storage up in the loft, so she definitely needs a bit of a rejig. But I'm super proud of it. I made this with, honestly, a hot glue gun and just, like, different... What is that? Okay, some of the orange segments do not look right. So I'm going to have to cut those off. And I'm going to zhuzh her up. She needs really some TLC. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like homeware haul. It was really fun to film. Let me know in the comment section if you like seeing a little bit more like home content. And I can show you the house when it's all set up and ready for autumn. Oh my gosh, Monty, the cat from across the road is waiting for me to let him in. So I'm going to go let him in. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and have a fabulous week. Bye guys.